Hello everybody, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to be altering these tiny mason jars from Tim Holtz. You can get these at the craft store. I believe they are $7 and you can use a coupon and get 40% off or 50% off depending on what coupon you have. They are super cute and the options are endless. I decided to give them a rusty beachy look this time and I have altered these in the past and I will have a link in the upper right hand corner to that video where I, um, the first time that I altered these. We'll probably get a couple more, they're really fun to alter. So I started off by adding a coat of gesso and it goes on a little bit transparent, but that's okay. So what you do is you just let it dry completely and then just add another coat. And you can even add three coats if you still feel like you want you know it to be a little bit wider but I think two coats is you know is just fine right now I am after the gesso dries the two coats dried I am now adding some crackle paste this is a white crackle paste and I'm not adding it to the full bottle I kind of go um, here and there and then I also uh, do more in some areas and other areas that way I get a variation of cracks along the bottles. Now I'm going to be adding some 3D matte gel so that I can add some um, art stones and I'm using the regular art stones today and a little bit of the mini art stones. So the 3D matte gel is going to allow the art stones to adhere. So I'm just going to sprinkle those on and just press those into that gel because I did add a pretty, not like, you know, an inch thick or anything, but a generous amount of the gel onto the bottle. And I know it's kind of hard to see what's going on in some parts, you know, because it, they are bottles. So, um, and I'm doing the top and it's just kind of awkward a little bit but uh, I hope that you guys get the gist of how to do this so I'm just again sprinkling them on there and then just um, pressing them in that gel and I'm doing the same to each bottle and I did them a little bit different for each bottle that way I got a little bit of variation um, for each bottle and I'm not too worried about the space in between the art stones. Normally I would try to get, you know, them all like bunched up together and really close, but I wasn't that worried this time. Now I'm going to be adding some seashells and I got these at the craft store. Uh, somebody did suggest pick, um, getting them directly from the beach. Unfortunately, I don't live near the beach, so this is my only option. And um, But if you can get them you know, from the beach and you just see them lying there and there is no little you know, crabs or anything in there, then uh, definitely pick them up and save them for your creations. So I am just going to continue to add these seashells just randomly on the bottle here.
So I let the seashells and the art stones dry quite a bit and now I'm just going to start adding the gesso so that I can add the color to the bottles and you want to try to get as much gesso and as much color um, like you see like the pink seashell you want to make sure that it's pretty well covered with the gesso you can do a few coats of gesso of course um, but I try to get it done with just one uh, but I do have a little method that works if I want to try to get it done quickly is I use my heat gun and I heat it up as I'm putting the gesso on. This is um, something that I do quite often and it helps speed up the process when I'm trying to paint something <laughs> because it gets the gesso a little bit tacky and it just goes on a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to continue to add the gesso to all of the bottles and on the art stones I'm not as worried um, as I am on the seashells and getting the um, gesso on them. So you see here I'm just adding another coat and do it to all of them. So, and I do go in, actually I think this might be some crackle paste because I know I did go in and add a little bit of crackle paste here and there on the seashells and then um, just to kind of have everything blend together really nicely. <clears throat> and now I'm going to start adding the color. So this is a little bit hard to see. I apologize. I try to get the angle um, when I'm doing the front, but right now I'm just basically spraying the base color, which is soft teal, or you can also use glistening waves. They're pretty much, um, very similar colors and I just kind of do a base um, color and I don't cover it completely with a soft teal but I do want to get a you know a nice base so now I'm going in with some deep teal and this again is a Prima Marketing color bloom spray and I'm just going in and what I do is I take the nozzle off that way I can control where I am getting all of that color because it is so dark I don't want to spray uh, the spots where I want the color not to be like I don't want to I wanted a really soft look to these even though I am doing um, the rust paste in the end I still wanted a really soft look so I was very careful where I was adding all of the deep teal but I did want it so that it gave this project some depth and it got underneath all of those seashells and in between all of the art stones and just uh, created a lot of nice depth for my project so I did not dry the soft teal before I added the deep teal so that it kind of blends together and flows really nicely. And if you want it to, if you want to give your color a little bit more push, you can spray it with a little bit of water, spritz it just with a little bit of water, and then it will help it kind of uh, flow where it wants to and get all around the bottle. Here I was being a little bit more brave. I just took a long time to use a nozzle. and um, But I'm not squeezing completely back. I'm just kind of pumping it just a little bit and it just gives out just a tiny little bit of color. And once you're really familiar with how the uh, Color Bloom sprays work, you can do this a little bit better and um, so that you're not spraying everywhere because you can do little splatters and also uh, you can spray lots at, at you know with the same bottle or the same nozzle so I'm just um, just pumping it a little bit so I'm going in with some soft teal again sorry about my dryer I don't know if you or my washer I don't not sure if you can hear that but um, now I am uh, just drying it a little bit and you could see all of that depth and just it's still a little bit soft 
and oh, there's something on top of my dryer it's driving me nuts all right so I'm going in with some lime wedge and what I'm doing is I just spray a little bit on and I'm using my finger to dab dab it and I am blending it out and into that teal color so you could see here and I do use a uh, paper towel or baby wipe and I do wet the paper towel uh, normally I have baby wipes on hand I ran out and I haven't gotten any so I just wet a paper towel instead of using a baby wipe and that way I can kind of blend out that color so I didn't want a really bright green color I just wanted it a little bit of that green showing through uh, for a little bit more um, beachy look I do have a paper towel on the back of the bottles where I'm holding it that way the color doesn't pull up in my hand and make a big mess on the back of the bottle I wanted to try to keep the back of the bottle as clean as possible so that way uh, the paper towel will absorb any of that excess uh, spray if any you know is going towards the back so I'm just gonna continue to blend this out and also when the spray hits the gesso the gesso um, you know it kind of blends in a little bit with the gesso because it is water-based so they can kind of blend together a little bit so that is all of the sprays and color is completely dry once I move on to this step and I'm just adding some highlights and just highlighting a lot of that texture on uh, the bottles where the art stones are and the seashells all right my washer is done now so that noise in the background is not going to be there anymore all right so doing adding the gesso uh, also softens up a lot of that color and just kind of creates a more softer look to the bottles not that it really needed it the colors are still pretty soft even though I did add that really dark teal color um, but it just it helps with kind of making all of those textures stand out so here you could see that technique I was talking about where I am heating the gesso as I am applying it again it just makes it a little bit tacky and it applies better when you're you know kind of in a rush like I am always I'm so impatient <laughs> all right so now I'm going to be adding the rust paste and unfortunately I haven't used my rust paste in paste in quite some time and that prompted me to actually pull it out and use it because I do love it so much and it did dry out it I was so sad but I added a lot of water to it and I'm just kind of digging my paintbrush in there just to get the color so you're I'm not I didn't really try too hard to mix it together um, but I was able to get that color and that's nor mainly normally what I want anyways I'm not too worried about getting all of that texture on there um, especially for this project I was mainly going for the color which I got perfectly and I was still trying to um, maintain that soft look so I was just adding a little bit here and there and then going in with a wet paper towel and just kind of blending it out and dabbing some off and not adding too much uh, you know at a time uh, it's easier to add more than it is to take away so I'm just going to continue to add the rest paste
All right, so that is going to complete this project or these projects, I should say. There's uh, three little bottles here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Pin it to Pinterest, email it to a friend, anything that you would like. It really helps me out and I do appreciate it very, very much. Uh, here is some pictures. If you want to go check out my website, there will be more photos and a full supply list, so be sure to check it out. And here is a couple more videos you might like. If you are not subscribed to my channel, hit uh, my little photo there with myself and my kids and you will not miss out on any videos. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!